Welcome to the Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser, and by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Welcome into the Terry Bowden Show, everybody. J.D. Byers alongside the head coach of the North Alabama Lions, Coach Terry Bowden. And we've got some highlights coming up for you. The UNA West Alabama game played back on Thursday down in Livingston. Also the player of the game, the play of the game. A lot of exciting stuff here. An exciting game it was, too. The Lions dropped a 6-2. Coach, the weather cooperated. Other factors didn't necessarily cooperate, but the Lions showing a lot of fight despite a whole lot of adversity in that game. J.D., you can't give a team like West Alabama a 14-point lead first 10 minutes, five minutes of the game in the first quarter on a kicking game mistakes. You know, f dropped a punt, fumbled a punt, and uh, roughed a kicker in the end zone. All of a sudden, they hit two plays, they're up 14, and the game's just starting. We spend the entire game catching up, get within five with about a minute and a half left. Onside kick to have a chance to win, we don't get the onside kick. It's about playing and not making those mistakes, but the kids played so hard. But like I said, you can't make those mistakes early and get behind like that and have a chance to win a game in a tough on-the-road environment like we had Saturday. But again, the kids played hard. The fourth game we've played where it's come down to an onside kick to determine the outcome of the game. We've recovered three of the onside kicks. We lost one of those games, but we're two and two on those. But it's that kind of year. Uh, and now we've got to find out what kind of character, what kind of uh, attitude, what kind of character we have to come back from a second tough loss. A great offensive production. The number is 516 yards, right at 400 yards passing, 397 through the air for quarterback Lee Chapel. A lot of first downs in that game. The Lions, 32 first <laughs> we downs. We won first there. downs anyway, yeah. yeah. But, the, you know, you know the, the thing about that, too, yeah, again, there was enough blame to go around in a, in a game like this. We had 516 yards of offense there. We had 32 first downs. You know, Lee Chapel threw just around 400 yards, 70%, a couple of touchdown passes, but we didn't finish drives. We, we had to kick field goals or missed a field goal uh, or – Fourth and one, missed it. We had a quarterback sneak in the end zone that I thought was in, didn't get it. So we had all the offense in the world, just need to finish a couple more drives, and we'd have put that, we'd have, we'd have come back and gotten ahead in that ball game. Highlights, the footage from the first half coming up just around the corner, UNA versus West Alabama. You stay with us. The Terry Bowden Show continues right after this. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TNT Fireworks. If it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Jim Bishop Toyota, family built, community driven, and by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Terry Bowden Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II national championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTFireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions. Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. Hey everybody, I'm Randy Owen, inviting you to join me on June the 2nd, 2012 for the 25th annual Randy Owen Celebrity Classic. We'll stay at the award-winning Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa, and we'll play at the beautiful Robert Trent Jones Golf Course. We're going to play a lot of golf, a lot of music. And remember, all your donations are tax deductible, and it helps the kids. Join me in the whole game for a good time and a great cause.
Attention, attention, Solzaria. If your trade is worth $4,500, you can drive away in a Corolla LE for $99 per month or drive a Camry LE for $139 per month and add leather at no additional charge at Jim Bishop Toyota in Tuscumbia. Drive away in your next Toyota from the name you've trusted for over 28 years. Jim Bishop Toyota. Save time and money at jimbishoptoyota.com today. Or call Jim Bishop Toyota today at 383-3611. Great people. Great selection. Great prices. Why go anywhere else? Jim Bishop Toyota. You won't be disappointed. That's a Brad Bishop guarantee. Tonight, boys, I'll be the designated driver. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TNT Fireworks. If it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Jim Bishop Toyota, family built, community driven, and by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser. Welcome back to the Terry Bowden Show, everybody. We're going to be recapping video, getting to the first half here in just a moment. UNA's game back on Thursday night, a televised game down in Livingston, taking on the West Alabama Tigers. At Tiger Stadium, Coach, we win the opening coin toss. We did. We won the coin toss, and we want to come out there and stop them three and out. That's what you want to happen. And it did happen. Our defense went out there and stopped them. But as you'll see, we have a punt, fumble the punt, and then one play. They score one play. All of a sudden, we go out there and do what we, do, we want to with the, with the coin toss, but it did not lead to the results that we wanted it to lead to. Let's get to the video of this one. UNA down on the road wearing the white jerseys over the purple pants. There's the opening coin toss. Get a good kick here from Schuster all the way into the back of the end zone. We get a three and out to start on defense. Well, when he kicks it back there, they got a great return, man. Number one, their Warsham did not get a chance to return it. And right here's the first three plays. There's a pass right there. Incomplete. Nice coverage there by Terrell Bailey, who had injured later in the season. There's their big fullback, uh, Willis, who does a great job for the evening. But he was held for no gain by Demetrius Bryant. And then you'll see another pass rolled out by Caldwell. Their young, outstanding quarterback, incomplete. And before you know it, they're punting to us. We've got them stopped. Here we are. Now it's our time to take the ball. Jason Smith, one of our great, great hands, caught the ball but didn't hold on to it. They rip it out as they run by. They get the ball. Now watch the, the running back. He takes off the linebacker, doesn't cover close enough. They run the wheel route to the tailback. Very first play, we weren't quite ready. That's what happened on a, on a momentum play, on a change of possession. And all of a sudden in one play, they're up 7 nothing in about a minute and a half into the game. Early, Kyle Caldwell had two completions. They both went for touchdowns. That's how they – they've been a run team pretty much this whole year, but he had some success through the air catching the soft guard, the return. Now, UNA with field position. Right. we got a good drive going, as you'll see. There's a catch there by, by Cam Wade, who had nine catches for the day. A nice job by him. Uh, Demetrius Good working to pick up that one more yard to get the first down. Got this first drive going, as you can see. There's the pass right there to, to, to TP, to Tristan Purifoy. Got another right under the first down. We run the ball right back. Demetrius Good, or is that by man uh, Wes? That's Demetrius Good again. Wes Holland. Wes Holland coming back right there, makes the throw and catch. Nice job by Mo of catching it, picking up a few more extra yards, and we're now inside their territory. There's the nice pass there, going deep there. First and 25 right there. We had a penalty. We had a first down. Double coverage. We should not have thrown it. Throw it away. I, sometimes I'll go for a big play, but if it's not there, throw it away. Made a mistake, but it's in our own end zone. And there's a oh boy, a big hit on Terrell Bailey. He did not play the rest of the game. But here's they, here we come back now, and we're stopping them, though. So we turned the ball over on the kickoff. They come back three plays, tackle there, tackle there. Nice job of tackle to their play by Thomas Glenn, made that tackle. We forced them to punt to us. Now we've got the ball back again on the punt. There's the catch. They call, the, 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 but we were able to get the ball and get our drive. This is not the rough of the kicker. Next play is the rough of the kicker. There's, the, there's Demetrius Good around the corner again. Got a good drive going down now. There's Tristan Purifor on a catch right there. We've got the ball going, moving into the 33-yard line. Nice job there, uh, but Tristan. There it is on third down. We throw to Cam Wade. We're not able to get it, so we punt the ball at the 50, and we punt it down to uh, the 15-yard line. Good field position down. Got Only the punt. punt of the night for Michael Schuster, and it's inside the 20. Here comes West Alabama. Not even punted the ball. We got to, Now look at the tackling. Very good job by right there Westbrook and Cedric Hall make the tackle right there. Now we should have a... Uh, a uh, nice sack on the quarterback right there uh, on that play. And now here's the punt, and there's a roughing the punter. Now we've got the ball backed up. We're going to get the ball right around the 35, 45-yard line, and we rough the punter. And that's a, now we, we fumbled the punt. There's the first little rollout right there. 
Here we've got a guy double covered. We make the we miss the tackle, miss the coverage, miss the hit. They score. Instead of them punting to us, us having the ball, we give them a big play, 14 to nothing in the first quarter, both coming off kicking game breakdowns. Ends up being a five play, 85 yard drive, 14 nothing now. West Alabama leads the Lions with the ball back and a good return. Mo Milam all the way out near nice the Nice job by Mo Milam, 32 yard return. But now it's all catch up for us. And we do a great job of fighting the catch-up, but it's not what you want to do when you have a big game to the top teams in the conference. Great job scrambling by, by uh, Lee. Uh, there's a good third down and one call where uh, Coffee gets eight yards on that one. Nice job. Mo Milam right there for 11 yards on that catch. Nice job to Mo catching that football. You'll see Demetrius Good right, Good right here picking up six yards right there. He hurt his shoulder, missed the entire second half, could not play. Now we're into a, a fourth and four situation. We'll see us coming up with a fourth and four. We've got, we're not kick, kicking field goals very well, so we've got to go for these. The ones you normally kick field goals, fourth and four, we don't get it, and we're held for downs and don't get any points on that nice drive. Defense comes back. Darnell Jackson right there makes the nice uh, protection. There's that nice back Willis they had. Made a big run out there. We missed a tackle uh, on that run. He made some nice play, but here they come back with a reverse, and Matafa, Richie Matafa, makes a great play. To cause the confusion there, that's a big loss right there. Pass knocked down by uh, uh, Dalton, and there's the number one wood. There's the number one, the receiver running a nice play. You'll see him run all the way down for the first down uh, to get the ball down there. Nice job by them on the screen pass. Here's the quarterback running the scramble. Sees the open man. Nice play. Hopefully Woodson could have brought that ball down. Rod Woodson couldn't bring it down. It's a 14 yard. He picks up 12 right here. It's third and fourth. Fourth and 14. They go for it. He gets 12 yards. We hold him on downs and come back. John Ware, good defensive move there. Then we come back on offense and hooking up over the middle. It's Milam again. 19 yarder. Nine by 19 and Wade for seven yards right there. Nice job by Wade. Come right back. TP. Tom uh, uh, Treasure Pure for, for, for uh, 24 yards. He had 128 yards catching on six catches. Nice job there. And then, of course, Wes Holland, our, our just utility man, does a great job there. Well, and picking up 16 yards on the run. They hold us right there, uh, but it's a field goal. And now 17-3 to at halftime. They came back, kicked the field goal, 14-3, to 17-3. to And then we took the one minute left, took it all the way down to the one-yard line, and then missed a field goal there from the side that would have made 17-6. to But 17-3 to to right there. The 14 difference? was the first two breakdowns, the first 10 minutes of the game where we gave breakdowns to the kicking game, give up a big play, and put ourselves in this, in this bad situation. And now we have to go into half game and talk about that. Josh Montgomery, a 36-yard field goal there, capping a nine-play drive. We had the one about 20-yarders that caromed mm -hmm. off the upright. They had a field goal. We're in the locker room at 17-3. The good news, we're going to get the ball to start the third quarter, and we make the most of it. Well, when you defer the ball, you want your offense, your defense, go out there and stop them in three plays. They did that, but the kicking game breakdown. When you come back out in the second half, you want to go out there and establish control set the tempo and score points you'll see us come out there and you'll see us do that but what pursues after that is what did not allow us to win the game we're going to come right back and show you those second half highlights of the una west alabama game right after this the terry bowden show brought to you by all state insurance are you in good hands brings apartments cbns bank banking the way it should be and by the alabama sheriff's youth ranch library books brown bag lunches dinner at home frugality is back but it's not all bad. Some of us are actually enjoying the hunt for new ways to save. Here's one, drive safely. When you don't have car accidents, you cost less to insure. Allstate will gladly pass those savings back to you. In tough times, every penny counts. That's Allstate stand. For a fast and free quote or to refer a friend, call the Bill Goff Allstate Agency at 256-765-2200. One, two, and three bedroom rental units in the Shoals are affordable when you rent from a family owned business that's been around since 1959. Brinks Apartments started three generations ago and now features more than 500 units across 20 locations, providing comfortable, affordable, and convenient living. Check out Oak Ridge, less than a mile from the UNA campus. Enjoy personal parking and lounge by the pool at Stonebrook Apartments on Cox Boulevard. Brink Apartments, family owned since 1959. When I go to see my bank, they know me by name. I go to a place with banking the way it should be. My bank has convenience and great service. I love that it's a community bank. My bank says yes to lending. Our bank is CB&S Bank. <clears throat> it's banking the way it should be.
I'm Nick Rocchio, and I'm the CEO of the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches. When you look at our children, we want you to see a normal child. Uh, the abuse, the neglect, the abandonment should not be visible. Uh, the emotional scars that they carry with them through their lives are there. Um, our goal is to teach them to live with those scars. It's easier to build boys and girls than to repair men and women. We're the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches, and this is what we do. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Brings Apartments, CBNS Bank, banking the way it should be, and by the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch. Welcome back to the Terry Bowden Show. At the break, halftime, 17-3, West Alabama leading the Lions. We get the ball, though, to start the second half. Let's go into the highlights here. Janoris Jenkins going to give us a good return coach, 20 yards out to the 42, and we do just what we need to, a nine-play, 58-yard scoring drive. Well, Joris had set out two halves. He, he uh, was reject, uh, ejected from the game before he lost a half there. Did not play in the first half, and he comes back, gives us good field position. Nice run there uh, by Wes Holland on, on, on the run. There's good job. Lee Chapel scrambling around, finds Wes Holland on the side on the sideline, makes the big throw to him, picks up 11 more yards. There's the fake of the run. There comes a nice play to Cam Wade, picks up a nice play on the sideline, another good pass to him for plus 21 yards. Uh, beautiful, nice little Jason Smith. We pick a nice short pass up to Jason Smith, moving the ball so nicely. Then all of a sudden, here we come, a nice outside to Tristan Purifoy. He gets a few extra yards right there and takes it down to the 16-yard line. We come right back down there, step up. Here's the touchdown pass. Look at Cam Wade, six foot six. He out jumps the cornerback, makes the big touchdown catch, and that's the first drive. We come back and get within seven points. All of a sudden, you, you talk about finding out what kind of character you got, well, how your kids are going to fight back. Now you're within seven points, and you got a good kickoff. You got them tackle them right here. You'll see the tackle right here. Ball on about the 35-yard line. That's about where you want them to start. But they did a great job. They just outplayed us. You know, I think ultimately you want to say they outplayed us, they outcoached us, they outkicking gamed us. And right back here, they answer. You'll see a great job there running the football. A few missed tackles right there. Um, nice tackle by uh, uh, Woodson. But there's a big play by the running back. Does a great job. We missed the tackle. And uh, leading rusher, I think, in the conference, Willis right there makes a big, big run uh, and gets them. So they matched our touchdown with their touchdown. Uh, so we got to come back and do it again. You know, so we've got to come back and do it again. We were 70 to 10, now 24 to 10. Janoris Jenkins makes a great move right there. Gets this great field position back up to the plus 49 yard line. Good field position. We come back through the screen to Wes Holland. He makes a lot of great moves right here. Takes it up the sideline and another outstanding play to Wes Holland. Picks up 25 yards to their 40 yard line. The Lions in business. Here's the most beautiful play of the game right there. Boy, I tell you, what a pass to Mo Milam. He puts it down to the 10-yard line, and then Coffey right in the end zone and right down the field about a minute and a half. Boom, we score that quickly uh, and go back to within seven. But no, we missed the extra point. That's been a problem for us all day, kicking into extra points. And so we're down eight. We've got to make a two-point play if it gets to one ball game. But our defense has got to hold them. Our defense has got to hold them. We put the score on the, on the board. Nice tackle right there by uh, uh, LaDrake, LaDrake Roy. Roy out of Florence. Comes in. Now, here they go. A nice run. They're back. We, good tackling by the defense. Good job of working about working on those guys now as they've got to come back and do the job. Caldwell did a great job throwing the football. What a great uh, – right there, you would like to see the interception, but he probably would have been out of bounds. But good pressure on the quarterback right there. Almost interception on the screen. Forces them to punt, which is what you want to have, to have them punt the ball like that. Marcus and, uh, Stoughton got a hand on that uh, last pass, forcing this punt. It takes a UNA bounce. We've got a pretty good field position here. Eight points down now. We've got another drive going. Our third series. We've not punted. We punted one time first quarter. That's it. Here's, here's Big West Holland. For, about, for this run, he must have run 100 yards back and forth across the field to the 39. But now we're on the 39 after that big run. Big play right there. Nice job. Cam Wade making a catch right there uh, for 10 yards. Good run right there by Coffee. Nine yard gain by Coffee. Now here's a fourth and nine. We got to have it. Boom. Great job by Cam Wade. Catch it, getting that first down. Outstanding job there. Catch it, getting that first down. And there's, there's look at that job. West Holland taking the ball right down to the three, two yard line for West Holland. But, 22 yard field goal. But that's the problem. We were on the first and three on the three, JD, and we had to kick a field goal. If offense had got 516 yards, it's those last three we had to get. And then there's the big bomb that caught over us right there. They matched our field goal with a touchdown. Big play caught in the middle of coverage. They made the plays we didn't. We've got to now come back. We've got to get down back and score twice now. There's a nice pass to Mo Milan. You see that nice job there. Lee's sitting nice in the pocket. Lee threw 70%, 400 yards. Mo Milan. 
Great job there. Hundred not nine catches for Mo for ninety three yards. Another nice play to TP. He makes people miss. Gets the ball all the way down to the five yard. We're fighting the clock now. Here it is. We've got if we throw a screen pass. Right down there, boom, he makes the guy miss. Coffee makes two miss, takes him in the end zone. And now we score with a minute and a half left. A minute and a half left. We're down by five points. And you know we got an onside kick. We've got to recover the onside kick. There's the onside kick. It's up in the air. They make the great catch up there. They recover it. And then they're able to run out the clock because we had to use timeouts in the previous drive. 31 to 26. Uh, uh, got outplayed, got outplayed. Uh, got outcoached. Uh, but the players fought there at the very end. I'm glad they did. Came ball back, and now we've got to find out how we can recover. A spectacular onside kick try there by Schuster. Jenkins, mm -hmm. uh, Brian Thomas were there trying to make the grab. West Alabama comes up with it. Clock management in the end. They preserve a 31-26 win. The Lions go to 6-2, and two, and West Alabama improves to 7-2. and two. We've still got some more exciting action, though, here on the Terry Bowden Show. The CBNS Bank Take It to the Bank Play of the Game, plus the Montague's Frostbite Player of the Game when we return. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TBA Credit Union, a better way, EA Nelson Company, and by Southern Fastening. You know, I may be new to the Shoals area, but TBA Credit Union has been serving this community for over 70 years. With seven branches full of financial experts offering personal service, TBA Credit Union offers low rates for mortgages, auto and personal loans, as well as higher rates on savings and CDs. TVA Credit Union is member owned and operated and now open to the community. Give TVA a call today at 386-3000 or stop it and tell them Coach Bowden sent you. TVA Credit Union, a better way. Hey, this is Terry Bowden. If you're looking for top quality equipment to maintain your property, then look no further than EA Nelson Company right here in Florence. They represent the top notch players in the lawn and garden industry, such as Walker Mowers, Bad Boy Mowers, Massey Ferguson Tractors, Woods, and Bush Hog Implements. EA Nelson is a one-stop, full-service dealer providing sales, service, and replacement parts. Whether it's landscaping, cutting a pasture, manicuring a lawn, or preparing a greenfield, EA Nelson has the equipment for you. Come to EA Nelson Company to see what top-notch equipment is all about. They're located at 1011 Mitchell Boulevard next to the O'Neill Bridge in Florence. First there was hammer and nail, then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can be beat. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TBA Credit Union, a better way, EA Nelson Company, and by Southern Fastening. Welcome back, everybody. Terry Bowden Show continuing. J.D. Byers with the head coach, Terry Bowden. Time for that part of the show where we get to show you an exciting play. It's brought to you by CBNS Bank. The CBNS Bank, take it to the bank. Play of the game, coach, it's Mo Milam over the middle. Well, Lee Chapel, you don't know how hard this throw is, how hard this catch is to make. We work on it in practice. They cover the out, so he throws a bend-in route right off the ear of the defensive back, right to the receiver as he bends and breaks across him. And there's three players around, and he puts it right on the money for 31 yards. That led to the next play, a touchdown, led to that comeback that we had uh, in the second half. Mo Milam, great catch, Lee Chapel, great throw. Uh, 31 yards down to the eight. Like you said, Chris Coffey, the former Decatur Red Raider, would take it in on the next play. Leads to a UNA score. Uh, Mo Milam, Cam Wade had great nights uh, receiving. Oh, yeah, Mo, nine catches, 128 yards. And, of course, Lee Chappell, uh, 397 yards, 70%. You know, he threw the one interception but two touchdown passes. Really had a great night. Uh, he did everything he could, uh, but we could not overcome. And then it was our running, our short yardage goal line, our short yards running game that really let us down. That's where we got whipped up front. We got we – got, whipped and got beat and we had to we had to take care of that but as far as Lee handling his thing in fact I think the quarterback sneak got in the end zone I mean I know you can't say woulda coulda shoulda and they, they didn't give it to us that's what we have to accept but he did his part and uh, great job by those two guys on that play West Al gets the win 31-26 the Lions 6-2 and two on the year our player of the game is coming up next right here on the Terry Bowden Show the Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Layton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies, and now Logan Pharmacy at Moulton, Woody Anderson Ford, Little Steve's, and by Hometown Market. These days there's still a need for genuine personal relationships, especially when it comes to your pharmacy. Sheffield, Leighton, and Russellville Pharmacies are still locally owned and independent, the way you like it. 
and from the time you walk through the front door, you just feel that family atmosphere. Plus, they provide fast, easy, and extra-friendly service every time. Rodney Logan and his staff have everything you need when you need it, and they also specialize in topical compounding medication, mixed on site. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies. Great customer service at all three locations. Hey, this is Bobby White with Woody Anderson Ford. Check out our team's lineup anytime at WoodyAndersonFord.com. There's the quick to the outside Ford Mustang, or the tough all-purpose power of F-150. For the passing game, we've got the all-new Ford Fiesta, passing the pumps at up to 41 miles per gallon. And everybody's all-American, the award-winning Ford Fusions. We're proud supporters of UNA football. Come see us at Woody Anderson Ford. More for less, period. Lion Pride is a tradition here in the Shoals, and especially a Little Steve's. Our second generation family-owned business has four locations in Florence and Muscle Shoals to serve you. We support UNA because UNA supports us. You'll never know who you'll find shopping at Little Steve's, and you'll never know who can help you out. Little Steve's, where UNA shops. Hey Terry, this is a heck of a place to shop. You're dead gum right about that. We invite you to shop with us at Hometown Market, conveniently located at 1421 Northwood Avenue, Florence, Alabama, in the Seven Point Shopping Center. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs with its large selection of groceries, fresh fruits and vegetables at our everyday low prices. Our meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by our qualified meat cutters. Look for our other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Hartzell, and Aniana. We truly appreciate your business and invite you to make us your Hometown Market. That's Hometown Market, 1421 Northwood Avenue, Seven Point Shopping Center, Florence. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Layton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies, and now Logan Pharmacy at Moulton, Woody Anderson Ford, Little Steve's, and by Hometown Market. Time for the player of the game now, presented by Montagues and Frostbite. Coach, this week's player of the game, going to get to see a couple of catches of Cam Wade. Cam Wade's just fought so well for us this year. Hadn't had the big numbers for both of but this game, nine catches, 93 yards, huge touchdown pass, six foot six, right over the corner back there. That led to the score that got us rolling in the second half. Then he comes back. Here's a fourth and nine for our second score. He makes 10 yards. Look at that great effort. Makes 10 yards there and it leads to the second score. So we're trying to catch up and we got within seven points because of the great plays that he made on that catch, the goal line, the catch uh, on the fourth down. Cam Wade, nice to see him have a nice game. Uh, he fought as hard as he could. We've seen him go high a lot of times to pull him down on fourth and nine. He uses the body to go horizontal to pick up right. 10 yards and move the chains leading to another UNA score, a field goal. 31-26 West Alabama though getting the win over UNA. We are six and two now on the year. Get to come back to Brawley Stadium. Finally play on a Saturday. West Georgia is going to come in. They're going to be right and high. They got a key win. I tell you, the remainder of teams in our Gulf South Conference, they're, they're all tough. West Georgia knocks off Valdosta State for the first time in the last seven years. That's huge. It's a Georgia kind of competition between those two teams, but it's a huge game for them. And uh, now we've got to come back and play them while they're playing so well. And uh, that's going to be important for us. To, how do we come back with our attitude and with our morale after losing two close games? Good teams do that. Good teams, good squads recover from those type of situations. That game will kick at 4 o'clock. Lion walk at 2 o'clock. We'll see you for the UNA West Georgia game at Brawley Stadium coming up on Saturday. Thank you for watching the Terry Bowden Show. Please join us again next Sunday night at 830.